Greetings, everyone. This is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon. And in this weekly video tip, we're going to talk about the subject of customization. In Song Surgeon 5, there are a bunch of different things that you can do to customize Song Surgeon to work specifically for you. And almost all of those are found in the options button. So let me go ahead and open this and then we'll walk through each of these things. So the first thing that you'll see in this box is the ability to change the default paths. Now, when Song Surgeon is installed on a computer, it sets up this Song Surgeon 5 subfolder. In many cases, you're going to want to leave these exactly where they are. But one example where you may want to change it is right here for the default file open location. That is to say that when you go to use the open button here or the file open button here, you can have it go to a default location other than the one normally set up when Song Surgeon is installed. And for many of you, it may be your iTunes folder or your music folder. So the way you change that is you simply can use this little button to the right, click it, and then browse to the location of the folder that you'd like to select. So in this case, you can see I have iTunes Media Music, and in my music folder then I've selected that. And what that means then is that once I've saved this setting and I go here, File, and then Open, it goes directly to that particular folder right here. So you can do that not only with the Open button, but also for these other things that you can see here. In other words, if you want to save these files after you've changed them or manipulated them, if you want to save them back to a music folder, again, you can simply click here and browse to that folder and select it. And again, you can do the same with all these others. I'm not going to go through these, but all of these things can be changed. So this is the first tab here in this window, and it's the first place that you can do a number of different things to customize Song Surgeon and how you use it. The second thing are the program settings, and these settings are settings found on the main GUI or in some of the dialog windows. And so let's walk through these. First of all, by default on installation, we set the algorithm to the P algorithm, which you can see is the one down here that's highlighted in green. Now, obviously, as you're using Song Surgeon, you can click the T or the V and you can change this at will. But if by default, every time you open the program, you want it to default and use the T algorithm or the V algorithm, you can simply select those algorithms or one of those here. And when you save that as your default setting, the next time you open Song Surgeon, you'll see then that the T algorithm is the one selected by default. The next thing is whether or not you want to display uh, your tempo in BPM or in percentage. And I use percentage because not only do we show percentage here, but we also show BPMs here. But I know a lot of people like to use BPMs, so if we selected BPMs, essentially what happens instead of 100% appearing here, what you would have is 92 BPM. So this is another way in which you can customize Song Surgeon by selecting the units that we're going to use down here in this tempo area. The next thing are the buttons that you see both here as well as down here. So for instance, if you wanted something besides 95, 75, 50, and 30, you could go ahead and change these first four. And as you change those, you would see them changed here. The 20 button is also a preset button, but it is not something you can see on the main GUI. It is something that you see only after you open the submenu down here. And here you can see the 20. So if you go back up here, and you change the 20 here to something else, it will be reflected in this number down here. Another way in which you can change or customize the program is to customize the zoom presets. So here on mine, we have the default presets, I believe, which are 0.1 seconds, 0.5, 1, 5, and 50. And those presets are the ones that you would see here when you open the zoom menu. And again, if we were to change these here, it would change these preset buttons here. Simple as that. The next thing is the autoplay when opening files. Now you have probably noticed in not only version five, but also in version four, that if you select a file like this, 
It auto plays by default. The options button selection that we were just looking at then allows you to turn this auto play selected files on or off by default. So if it's on and you select a file, it's going to auto play. You can easily turn it off by just deselecting this option right here, as I just did. Or if you want to turn it off permanently so you don't have to deal with that, you can simply go here and select no, and that will deselect that same checkbox so it will not auto play automatically. The next thing is the waveform scroll, and that is the playback of this window here. Uh, meaning the, the chart window that you see on the screen. And essentially what this does, this waveform scroll, is that it will change the default position of this scrolling button over here. So let's take a quick look at it. So right now what you'll see when we play is that the white progress indicator moves on the screen and the graph stays constant. It doesn't move. It up something they can't change. So you can see it's moving right here. This is my word. As opposed to this. So if we select this and we turn the scrolling on, you'll see now that the white progress indicator centers and it stays constant, and now the graph moves. So essentially, that's what this option button selection does it controls whether or not this is on or off by default. Um, the next thing is format preservation. We have this off by default format preservation is this toggle right here. And it's a very important functionality built into Song Surgeon, but it's used only if you're changing the key with songs that have vocals or backing vocals in them. So if you don't have songs like that, or if you don't care about the quality of those vocals or backing vocals, then you can leave this um, off by default. But if you do care about those, and if those are the types of files that you work with most often, then you may want to switch this from off to on, which means that anytime you open Song Surgeon, instead of this being off by default, it will then be on by default. Lastly is the chord detection function, which you're all familiar with, these little chord bubbles here. And this essentially just has them on or off. I think most people use this functionality and therefore probably want it on, but if the chord detection feature is not of interest or not of value to you, you can simply turn it off by selecting off here and clicking OK. And when you do that and then you open a song, it will no longer run the chord detection module and so therefore you won't see any bubbles down here. Lastly is the GUI resizing, and that is to say the size of the image on your screen so by default, it should be set to one. If you would like to make the elements of the GUI, meaning both the text and the buttons smaller, then select a smaller value than one here. And if you would like to make things larger, then select a larger value than one. Now these values are not finite. We detect your computer screen size and based upon the size of your computer screen, or I should say your, the resolution of your computer screen, we calculate what values we're going to display in here. So on mine, it happens to be 1.24 for the largest size, down to 0.75. On yours, it's going to be something different. But the important point is that anything below one will make things smaller, and anything above one will make things larger. So those are the customizations that you can do on Song Surgeon. Hopefully you'll find this helpful and with that we'll conclude this week's video tip. Thanks for watching.